chaotic moments in a backyard. A car crashes right through a fence and then shots are fired. It's a story we've been following since yesterday. A woman was arrested for driving through a fenced backyard and then hitting a homeowner. The homeowner confronted the woman to see what happened. And that confrontation and the moments leading up to it were all caught on a surveillance camera. News 6's Amanda Castro is talking with the homeowner who walks us through this video. The victim tells me when the driver crashed into his backyard, she tried backing out several times, actually pinning him here in this corner, and the whole thing was caught on his surveillance camera. Oh, she hit the tree multiple times. Robert Morgan says he's lucky to be alive. His surveillance system capturing the moment, Sanford police say 23-year-old Jalexia Moss crashed her car through Morgan's fence around midnight on Thursday, landing feet from his home. Just a loud noise, like a, it sounded like an explosion. In the video, you can see Moss back her car up. She even turned her lights off as Morgan says she tried to get away. Minutes after the crash, you see Morgan walk up to the vehicle carrying a flashlight and a gun. He says he tried to stop her from driving off. Yeah, I'm telling her, shut the car off, get your hands up in the air. At one point, Morgan says Moss hit him with the vehicle. He even jumped on her car to avoid serious injury. She was coming at me and I didn't want to get pulled under the car. Police say Morgan's gun went off after he was knocked to the ground by the vehicle. Morgan tells us he grabbed the weapon because he didn't know what to expect and was protecting his family. Because once she started after me with the car, then all bets were off. I mean, it was... And if she had a kept at it, no telling. Morgan says he stopped Moss from running off, keeping her in his backyard until police arrived. According to the report, Moss told officers she got into an argument with her boyfriend before the crash and saw Morgan come toward her with the weapon. She has since been released from the Seminole County Jail. Morgan says he has some scrapes, but no serious injuries, adding someone was watching over him. It was just total reaction, you know, gut reaction. I mean, I just just trying to keep myself alive. <laughs> In Sanford, Amanda Castro, News 6.